Then I'm going to go through a couple problems that are more commonly asked on the exam. Not to say the other videos didn't discuss things that are often questions, but these are recurring questions that I see almost every year, either on exam three, which you didn't have to worry about this semester, and of course the final. So starting off, we need to discuss a concept of something called reducing sugars. And of all the common questions I see on exams, this is probably the simplest because all of reducing sugar is, is a sugar that reacts with NADH4. In other words, a sugar that has its anomeric OH available. So if we look at this first structure, structure one, first find your anomeric carbon, the carbon that shares two oxygen bonds. This is this carbon right there. Here we've got one, two. This carbon has its anomeric OH. So is this a reducing sugar? Yes. Sugar one is reducing. Now we look at sugar two. We find the anomeric carbon, which is this one, because it shares two uh, bonds of two separate oxygens. And I ask, does this have its anomeric OH? Is it a reducing sugar? And I see over here I have OCH3. And we said, we said before that OCH3, on the anomeric position, prevents the ring from opening up and forming its, its fissure projection, which you need to form in order to react with NADH4. So this reaction does not have its anomeric OH and therefore is not a reducing sugar. Now this concept applies to disaccharides and polysaccharides as well. So again, just look for your anomeric carbon, which is this one over here, and you should look for the anomeric carbon in every sugar ring if it's a disaccharide or a polysaccharide, which means this is one and this is the other. And looking at both of those, neither of those two carbons have their anomeric OHs. So this is not a reducing sugar. Finally, I look at this, poly, uh, this disaccharide and I say, okay, here's my, um, my first anomeric, and this does not have its OH, so this sugar isn't reducing. But look at this one. This one has its anomeric OH. So do you consider that a reducing sugar? Yes, you do. As long as one anomeric OH is available, the sugars as a whole, or the sugar as a whole, no matter how long the chain is, is still considered a reducing sugar because that one end can react with NABH4. And that's really all there is to reducing sugar, the reducing sugar concept. If you have your anomeric OH, you are a reducing sugar. 